Good afternoon. It is five o'clock on another completely gray and overcast day. These are getting old. Um, the mower's back and the blower is back for winter service. That one made it in the garage. I wasn't home when it was delivered and uh, I pulled in the driveway and noticed this was sitting back here. So we'll start it up, see if it works, and see what they did. I told them when they picked it up, December 4th, 14th. I don't know why I remember the date. It was December 14th they picked it up. Um, whenever I would make a, I think it was a left turn by pulling the left brake, the right drive shaft would pull out of the transmission here. It looks like they put a new piece on top there. I see a lot of oil, so hopefully that got fixed. The brakes needed to be tightened. They feel tighter and the blades needed to be sharpened. Now that's just basic maintenance. And I'm sure they did that. And I'm seeing a, a lot of grease there, so it looks like they greased up the the stuff in the front and the chooch and antlers and stuff. I noticed the Bowden cable, the choke cable here, down to here has been replaced. So that's good news, and it looks like that's a new valve and a new fuel filter as well. So uh, we'll get it started and see how it runs. Uh-oh. Nope, it is not warm enough for that. Let's try this again. All right, that seems to be a success. Everything's working, everything's put away. Well, we also got this. We elected not to have them do the labor on that blower because it was a lot of money and we could do it ourselves. So we got a head gasket here that has to be installed. I'm sure that's gonna be an absolute blast to install the head gasket. And we have a carb uh, rebuild kit because it's running like crap. The head was warped a little bit, but they said a new gasket would would fill that in and create more better compressions. And I like that kind, less chooching. So we'll deal with that. And uh, the carb kit, I'll well, see what that looks like. Let's crack this open. I have no idea how to do this, but that's what YouTube's for, right? Uh, oh my god, we got lots of little parts in here. That looks like a gasket. Oh good, there's instructions. Dad was right. There's the instructions. You see that? Uh huh. I think, uh, I think you should fly back here and help me install this. And we got some little gasket there. I'm trying not to lose any parts. There's a, a little it's one of those. Uh huh. You'd be lost without that. And then there's like, I'm gonna need a baggie for all this stuff. What the hell is this? I have no idea what any of this is. This is a thing with a spring on it that looks like you tighten it down and it, it tightens something up. It's got more metal on that. Here's another spring. There's something that, and, and there's a, a shaft. There's a, a little brass thing with a little smaller hole in the top than it has in the bottom. And then there's a little metal spring thing that's all bent out of shape. And a little red ring, or a little ring. And another piece of brass. And that seems to be all that's in here with those really detailed instructions. So this is what this looks like. We've got gaskets and then these little parts. And I have no idea how to do that. If we look at the instructions here. Viton top. Aluminum bushing Viton. I don't know what a Viton is. V I T O N. And it looks like there's a float, seam, and a tang. Well, I don't know what a tang is. That, that's that's going to be amazing. Hey guys, it's uh, two thirty in the morning. I just talked to Colt for a while. Uh, I realized that I didn't mention uh, what we did with the site, and I'll show you now. It's actually not with the website. It is on uh, the YouTube TVs. If you go to youtube.com slash e39source, we finalized what we did the other day. Check this out. We now have a banner at the top. People are complaining about us not having a banner. Well, complain no more. It has been fixed, and we have somewhat of a new logo. Uh, not really official nor legal for a trademark purpose of e39source, but if we zoom in, check that out. Oh yeah, it is the M shifter, beautiful vector form. Um, went online looking for that graphic and I couldn't find it. So I sat down in Photoshop the other night and in an hour and a half I made it. All vector graphics, just a couple lines, some numbers, an M in the middle. How long does that take? Well, longer than you think. To get that four right that has the, the slanted part but it's not all the way through. I had actually had to rasterize the layer, which I don't like to do in design, uh, and delete that part of it because I couldn't find the right font. But we now have that. The links actually work to the site, our Twitter, and our Facebook page. If you haven't liked us on Facebook, please go do that. I actually redid that graphic today, which that's the admin panel, but it looks like this now. Uh, slightly different, enhanced the font, changed the colors a little bit, 
And there's our beautiful M graphic there as well as that's our Twitter, Facebook, YouTube profile image, all the good stuff. So check that out if you like. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. Canon and Alex came over for a little bit. It was dark. We just listened to some music, hung out a little bit. I didn't film any of that. Um, but we went for a little ride in the 525. I was going to film that, but it was so dark in there, and Alex hadn't ridden in the car yet, so we just did that for a little bit. But check this out. I cleaned these drawers out today. These drawers used to be a disaster, and it's not great now. There are way too many pens and pencils and, and crap in here, but finally these drawers are, are clean and usable. Before, they were just the kitchen catch-all drawer that got all of the random stuff. I mean, there were golf balls in there. There were bones of an animal that we found in the creek years ago and thought it was funny, so we brought them inside. Well, they were still sitting in there. Tons of stuff. A lot of it got thrown away, a lot of recycling, but kind of reclaimed some space there, so that was nice. Productive Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. I have the day off. I'm going to go pick up those parts I ordered at Dave Walter. They came in Thursday or Tuesday, but I didn't feel like going down there, so I'll probably do it tomorrow. It's supposed to be partly cloudy and uh, is it 39? I think tomorrow, yeah, 39 and partly cloudy for Friday, 50 Saturday, 55 Sunday, but rain. We'll deal. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, and I will leave you with that. Good night.